What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of Forza Motorsport 5 and wow it just went crazy I didn't mean for the picture to go. Now I wanted to um today I wanted to start in the interior of my Chevy Chevelle SS my absolutely beautiful Chevy Chevelle SS if I do say so myself. I absolutely freaking love this thing, and uh, from the comments I got on the last episode, you guys seem to really, really like it too. So I'm going to go ahead and actually start it up, give you guys a sound clip real quick. That thing sounds mean. I mean, just mean. That is absolutely crazy. I freaking love this car. It is just... Oh my god, it's just beautiful. I mean, somebody posted in the comments that, yeah, you know, the, um, the Charger was the best muscle car, and it's definitely up there, but this thing definitely competes with it, though. Like, just to me, the Chevelle is just, just such an awesome car. Just, I don't know, I just really have a thing for the Chevelle, and, uh, that's why I chose it for my, uh, for my, uh, car for the classic American street muscle. And I don't know why there was an awkward pause there in one of my commentary, but I have no idea. But we're going to go ahead and continue the career. Um, we're on race 4 out of 10 at um, Silverstone. And, well, leaving Indianapolis and heading to Silverstone. And Silverstone is actually not a track where you'd really expect to see a Chevelle SS, but should be interesting to see anyway. I mean, what I plan to do is kind of you know, brute force my way up to the front of the pack and then just kind of keep drifting the whole time. If I can do that, if I can just like brute force my way up to the front of the pack and then just drift the whole rest of the race, I'm good to go. I'm like, I'm like just, ah, I'm happy. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, as soon as this gets loaded here, we should be good to go. And, oh, actually really, really quick thinking about, um, thinking about something. Um, the game, the racing game, the racing simulator, PC simulator, Assetto Corsa. I've been checking that out lately. I've been seeing some, um, seeing some videos of that, especially one done by uh, the Squirrel Nuts. If you guys know who he is, uh, he did a video on it with his Logitech G27, and uh, it looked like an amazing game. It looked really, really fun, and um, I'm really, really interested in getting into it, especially now that I have a more powerful PC. Well, I mean, I have, I've had a more powerful PC for a while, but I still haven't gotten a PC uh, racing simulator. And I, whoa, whoa, <laughs> that was close, that was crazy, and I'm not going to rewind though, I'm not going to rewind, no rewinds for me, but um, yeah, the simulator Assetto Corsa, uh, Gunner did a little bit of stuff with it, and oh, he's got a rust design, that's actually kind of interesting, but yeah, Gunner did a bit of stuff with it, and then uh, Squirrel Nuts did a couple of, whoa, dang, this thing handles slowly, um, but yeah, um, and th so those two guys did a couple of videos on Assetto Corsa, and it looks really fun. The sounds look, uh, or sound really, really good. The gameplay looks really, really good, and so do the graphics, and it works with, um, Xbox 360 controllers, it works with, um, it works with pretty much any kind of wheel out there as well, so I'm really considering getting into that game and, uh, start, whoa, he's like, he went, like, complete battering ram mode on that dude, that Nova, but yeah, um, really thinking about getting into that game and maybe you know who knows maybe eventually if I really really like it and I really get into it maybe eventually buying a, a wheel for my PC you know that would be a really really cool thing to do and I would really like to get a good wheel uh, for my PC with you know um, full uh, full pedal setup H pattern shifter everything you know so I could actually switch between switch between um, your manual transmission cars uh, where I'll be using the shifter or your paddle shifted uh, double clutches and automated manuals and I'd be able to really give you guys as much of a realistic impression on the car as I could without um, without going and driving it myself because the chances of me getting to drive a Pagani Zonda R in real life are pretty slim I mean I, don't get me wrong I would absolutely l whoa I'm going I've gone way off the track I was like I don't know for some reason I thought this was like my S2000 for a minute or something but um but yeah, don't get me wrong, I would absolutely love to drive like a Zonda R in real life. That would be insane, and I would love to do that someday. If like I ever got the chance to do that, that would be like the best moment ever. But um but I mean I think the wheel, uh, a wheel with um with full uh, three pedal setup, shifter, uh, paddles, it would be that would be probably as close as I, I'll be able to get to that for a really long time. So really highly considering buying a wheel. And uh, using it for PC simulators like Assetto Corsa, like I said, I'm gonna download it. It's on Steam, and uh, I'm gonna download it, check it out, 
And if I like it, then, um, like I said, I may start to get into it and maybe start bringing you guys some videos of it. So, they, um, really, the cool thing about Assetto Corsa, to me, is that not only are they allowing early access to the game, but they're also fully in support of user-generated content, mods, uh, like, modded cars, tracks, pretty much everything, like, tuning setups, pretty much everything, they, they support the community all the way, and I'm all in favor of any game that supports a community like that. If they supporting, they're, they're supporting a community to develop content like that, then I'm 100% behind that. So like I said, I'm going to be getting into that game, checking it out, and, um, you know, maybe I'll take a couple of videos of it just using an Xbox 360 controller, uploading them, see if you guys like it, and, you know, just to see if you guys like it, and, you know, playing around with some of the cars in there, because they've got, you know, the Lotus Evora, the new Exige S, they've got the KTM Crossbow, Zonda R, and they've also got some other cool cars like the 500, uh, Fiat 500 Abarth, and the uh, uh, M3, so definitely a really cool game, and I really want to check it out. Now maybe I could actually start focusing on this race, because I've been talking about a whole bunch of other crap, and I haven't been focusing on the actual race at hand, which has caused my driving technique to suffer. Alright, come on. Come on, give me some power, come on! Whoa, down to second. Just gotta get around totaled pizza. Odd, odd username. Odd username, my friend. Odd username, my friend. And maybe now that I'm in first place, I can do some drifting. Oh wait, no, never mind. There's the finish line, and it's the last lap. So no, I didn't even get didn't even get a chance to get the thing sideways. Wait a minute, that wasn't the finish line. I'm still used to the Forza 4 finish line. There we go. We're sideways. That's the that's the like I said before. The most awesome thing about American muscle cars is that they'll go sideways and stay there as long as you want. You know, not until you bring them back. Like you just swing them out, weight transfer, and they just stay and stay, and stay, and you can just keep them going, just drifting, and drifting, and drifting. The only problem with that is that drifting is slow, and the General Lee, <laughs> being driven by a um, fail race, will catch up to you. Come on! Putting the power down on the straight. A little bit worried about that charger on this straight, because he's going to be uh, pushing a lot of power out of that Hemi. Yeah, he's catching up to me a little bit. He's catching up to me. Come on, Here we go, keep it on the line, keep it on the line. Manage the power, there we go, not, like, no oversteer or understeer. That was, like, a really just well-balanced corner. It really, no oversteer or understeer. That's, like, when you're talking about circuit cornering, the, the perfect corner, the perfect cornering method is no understeer or oversteer, just sheer grip. And I'll admit I had to let off the throttle quite a bit to do that, but still, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, and uh, across the line, I was like, I was looking to see which line in the track was like the finish line, so I was like, and across the line. But yeah, fun car to drive, really fun car to drive. And I love the fact, you know, I love the big SS badge up front, and the SS badge on the wheels, it's just the, an SS 454 on the side, it's just SS badges all over this car, I mean... That's, like, one of the reasons why you buy the SS, other than the power, is, like, so you can make sure that everybody knows that you bought the SS model, and I love that. Alrighty, where are we going next? I'm always excited, you know, where are we going next? Where are we going next? That's, like, one of the biggest things for me, at least in the Forza career, like, where are we going next, you know? Our next event takes the Alps! Perfect! Absolutely perfect, guys. Absolutely perfect. I can't wait to uh, to open this thing up here. I mean, just a wide track, long sweeping corners. I sense some drifts in our future, in our near future, guys. Absolutely. I mean, look at even the, the, the detail on the road signs. I mean, who goes, who except for turn 10? goes that far to put detail on road signs. That's insane. The rumble of American V8s. Unmistakable. Come on, come on, come on. Next rival, the slap train. I can take his time. Don't know what it is, but I'll try for it. Ready to pass Dr. Wee Wee's Nova. 
Oh, get her sideways. There we go. It's just so stable sideways. It's like, yep, we're drifting and I'm totally fine with it. I'm totally fine with it. Don't need to brake here. Just need to let off the throttle a tiny bit, but then get back on the power. Let the back end slide. Steer it with the back end. Drifting. Whoa! Whew, I wanted to drift around that El Camino, but I didn't manage to actually do it. I mean, well, I drifted around him, but I slammed into him in the process, which was not part of the plan. <laughs> At all. Here we go. Here we go. Waited a little long to shift, but... Look out. Woo! That was... Th Man, that back there was, like, so close. You don't even know. It's crazy. Dude, that design reminds me of a Hot Wheels car I have. Like, or, well, like a Hot Wheels car that I bought, like, years like ago. When I was, like, I don't know, like, maybe, like eight or nine years old that the paint job on that charger reminds me of a hot wheels car that i had when i was like eight or nine years old that i don't know there's a lot of i have a lot of like hot wheels car memories i'm sure you guys had do too if you were a car fan when you were a little kid then you had hot wheels cars like that's just like if you liked cars when you were a kid you had hot wheels cars there's no you know no denying it you had hot wheels cars there's just no you know no way around that whatsoever I mean, I still, to this day, I have, like, several Hot Wheels cars on my desk. Like, I can look over at my desk right now and see, like, one, two, three, four, five Hot Wheels cars. It's like, I'm trying to, like, look, glance over and then look back at the screen because I don't want to mess up. But I can name them off the top of my head. I have a, um, I have a Corvette Z06, um, Centennial Edition, I do believe. Um, I have a Scion FRS. I have a, uh, a matte black Lamborghini Aventador a 06 Viper Coupe, and a Ferrari F12 Ber Berlinetta on my desk right now. And that's not counting the, the, the box behind my... That's not counting the big box behind all my games that has, like, what, 100 or 200 cars in it. So, who knows? Maybe someday I'll get that out and show you guys my Hot Wheels collection in a video. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty... Um, that would be a pretty cool video. If you guys want me to do that, like, show my Hot Wheels collection in a, in a video... Let me know in the comments section below because I'd really like to do that. I think that would be a really fun video. I got a perfect drift and a perfect turn at the same time. I, I don't know. I didn't think that was possible to get perfect turn and perfect drift in the same corner. Come on. Let's give a little bit of power over. Oh, yes. It's so smooth. Should I risk it and go for a massive drift in this corner? I don't know. Screw it, we're going for it. Whoa, keep her sideways. Oh, that's too much. <sighs> oh, God. Yeah, that's, it's not a rally car. It's not a rally car. Keep it. Keep it. There you go. These are the drift cars that don't need a drift tune. That's like pretty much, you could just, you could take them and just drift from stock. Just like pull off of the dealership lot and just start drifting. Cause I'm just going sideways all over the place. Just stayed sideways throughout that entire corner section. Just no problem at all. All you need is either a weight transfer a little, or a little bit of power and you're good to go. And, I mean, I'm not trying to be faster on the circuit by doing this. I just do it because it's fun. Come on. The only thing that's not realistic about this Chevelle is that fuel gauge has been at max since the start of this race. And I guarantee you that if this was real life, that fuel gauge would not be at max right now. <laughs> But that doesn't matter. I really don't care about that. I mean, if I was if I was getting a Chevelle or if I, like, had a Chevelle in real life, I would not care about the fuel gauge. No doubt about it. I mean, the, the engine and the, the presence and the drama and the feeling of, the, of, this, of this car would more than make up for the fuel. I mean, I just, that's my personal opinion. Dang, that dude appeared in my rearview mirror just out of nowhere. I saw him, like, just as, uh, just as, like, the AI took over. Let's see. 
I wonder, like, I wonder if we had any, or if we won any more money that time. Actually, we won less. Come on. Why? Why would I win less money for that? Seriously, though? Well, nearly level 32. Should get it on the next race. If not the next race, then the race after that. But if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys later. Tomcat out.